to repair a skin that has been damaged by bleaching cream? Is it even possible to regain a normal skin after, after damage, after so much bleaching? What can you do? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Ese and on this channel we talk about beauty, we talk about skincare, we talk about appearance and the goal is to help you to enhance your natural beauty. So uh, if you are just seeing me here for the first time, you're very welcome to this channel. Consider to subscribe to the channel so you can see uh, my videos anytime it's out, right? Thank you so much. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for coming back to my videos. It's always a pleasure to see all of you. How are you doing? And again, happy new uh, month. We yeah. are going to talk about repairing skin after bleaching damage. I got the idea of talking about this from my, uh, my Facebook page. If you are not following me on Facebook, go ahead, give me a follow up. And also on Instagram, if you are not following me yet on Instagram, it's Beauty by Ace Your Follow me on Instagram. Now, the first thing you ever need to do when your skin is damaged because of bleaching is to stop bleaching product. Um, this might sound very normal, but some of the people that have the skin damage when i ask them what are you using right now now that your skin is is like that i realize that they are still using the same product they are still using the same bleaching cream that g get their skin to that that particular stage and that's really bad that's really bad you need to stop it and when i mean you need to stop the bleaching product i mean the body lotion the serum the oil the soap, even the soap, you need to stop it. That will be the first step for you if you really want to heal your skin. Uh, instead of that, those, those kind of products, look for, um, you know, healing uh, ointment, healing uh, body lotion, uh, regenerating body lotion, regenerating cream. And that you can find it for so, so, so many brands. Uh, Avino has a very great uh, healing body lotion. Uh, Nivea has a very, very good uh, healing or regenerating body lotion. And um, La Roche Posay, there's one that is really, really, really famous for this kind of situation. I, I'm going to do a bit of research and I'll put it also in the comment section for you guys or in my description, sorry, for you guys to see. So, uh, La Roche-Posay has a very good one. Avino, Nivea, Vaseline. They have very, very good cream for, for that. Look for the your face cream that is healing. Uh, look for your body cream as well. You're going to need that. That's the first thing you want to get. So get rid of your bleaching product and replace them with that. Those products I just mentioned. That's the first step for you uh, for get, to getting back a normal skin. You need to look for fresh and organic aloe vera Aloe vera has a very, very strong healing power. Aloe vera, if you, if you get burned by the sun, if you get burned by fire, aloe vera gel can actually help you. So what I recommend you to do is that every night, every night uh, after cleansing your skin, after, after using a toner, if you have one, just, you know, uh, use the aloe vera three cut it into two you need to make sure you wash it very well cut it into two and the gel inside just apply it to your skin apply it to your skin very well allow it to dry allow that to dry and then go ahead and apply if you have a serum apply the serum and your moisturizer for that night you need to really do that aloe vera is one plant you need in this kind of situation uh, another thing uh, you're going to need is uh, vitamin C serum 
Uh, now, if you cannot find vitamin C serum, look for vitamin C oil. Yeah, they have vitamin C oil as well. And uh, after applying your moisturizer, use the vitamin C oil to seal uh, the moisturizer in. Or if you can find a vitamin C serum, after your aloe vera gel, apply the vitamin C serum on top of your aloe vera gel before your moisturizer. Another serum that can help you in alpha arbutin. Uh, alpha arbutin has the possibility to actually reduce the melanin production of your skin. Yeah, another thing that you can easily use, which is available everywhere in Africa and even in Europe, is uh, shea butter. Uh, shea butter has a very uh, regener very strong regenerating power. It's uh, it's nourishing and it helps you to regenerate your skin. It promotes elasticity, it makes your skin soft again. Now, actually you realize that using the bleaching cream, when it's damaged your skin, the sun actually helps that cream to damage your skin more. The sun is actually the main thing that will trigger, you know, those damaging effects of those products. You understand? So, the most important thing you want to do is to avoid the sun as much as possible. If, you are, if your skin is damaged by bleaching product, you don't want to go and be exposing your, yourself to the sun unnecessarily. Now, I don't say you, you will not work or you will not go out. But for example, if you are in that situation and when you're going out, find yourself something that can actually cover you. Especially uh, now your body, you can as well dress to cover up. So you will not have a direct, you know, exposure to the sun. And you can wear sunglasses, you can wear a hat to just cover up just because of your situation. And uh, another thing that will be the last thing I will talk about is sunscreen. If you are in that situation and I'm telling, I'm, to uh, I'm talking about sunscreen, I mean, your case is, is, is really important that you use sunscreen. Find uh, at least SPF 30, if not SPF uh, 50 for yourself and apply it before you leave your house. Apply it and even find uh, maybe a mixed sunscreen to reapply every two to three hours. Reapply every two to three hours, especially when you are outside there uh, in contact, in direct contact with the sun. Uh, even if you're not going out, even when you are indoor, because of your situation, apply sunscreen. Apply it to everywhere that you're going to expose with the sun. So uh, that's the, the things you can do to heal your skin after bleaching damage. But now, all those things I talk about, it's not as if in two weeks time, your skin will get okay again. First of all, when you stop uh, the bleaching cream, your skin is going to get really, really, really black. And the kind of black that it's going to get is not just normal black, it will be dirty black that means your body is uh now the the cream has stopped working on your skin and your body your your skin is actually getting back to its normal i know that stage can be really frustrating for people that bleach i know they know what i mean when you stop bleaching cream for two weeks three weeks you know the kind of color you get but hey you need to get over that because you're looking for something, right? You need to you need to stay strong, and uh, you need to you need to continue the treatment I just gave you. Even when your skin is getting dark and dark, ugly dark, or that not getting like dirty color, actually, yeah, it's not just dark, but you get dirty in a way. So when your skin is getting like that, continue doing the treatment I just told you. You need to be patient with your skin. You use a lot of time damaging it. You will also use time repairing it. So the thing is that I believe that if you really, really, really take good care of your skin, 
you can you can get your skin back even if you will not get it back as the way it was before you start bleaching maybe if you you've spent maybe 30 years bleaching your skin you spent 35 years bleaching your skin you might not get it the way your skin started but you will get it much 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 more better and i can i can actually promise you that when you just keep treating it keep being patient keep using your sunscreen and keep taking care of yourself in your situation you want also to eat healthy you want to drink water you want to eat vitamins you want to take better care of yourself right so this was it uh what i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed this video like i say in the beginning if you know somebody that has this problem please share this video with them it's very important and uh if you like the video give me a thumb up comment share with your friends do all the good things to my channel and uh, i'll see you again in my next video Ciao!